Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Lincoln, the Marquis of... Where are we? The Caribbean? Grand Cayman. Let's see, are you actually actively sieging this? Winner of the siege will be Bonner's host. That's not something I'm too interested in. 10th, 16th, we can't catch you. Hmm. I mean, I could try to siege down another country. That would give us some more score. You're gonna let me be the defender? Oh, there is no defensive bonus here. All right, well, that's better than having a penalty. All right, look at that left flank fall like crazy. Center flank, oh no, center. Come on, hold together. Oh, don't let the center get flanked. Routed. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. We're getting beat something fierce right now. Um, We're gonna retreat to here and then stand down. Ouch. What? It says we only lost 345 troops. I gotta say, that doesn't seem right. I think we lost more than that. Okay, they can't catch us. I think we gotta stand down. The problem is that we've got retinue here. No, what are you assaulting? No, 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 don't do that. Stand down. So because they occupy that, we're gonna lose a few troops. Yeah, okay, so these guys are pretty good at fighting, and now this guy's getting pulled in. Yeah, 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 I think we're gonna need some mercs. Oh god, what have I done? <sighs> I clicked the wrong button. I just murdered those, that, that bit right to new. No confirmation dialogue or anything, just instantaneous murder. Beautiful. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, we can get him back. These guys have the highest total strength. 4,000 troops for 2,600, sorry, 260 gold. It's not bad. A lot of archers. Archers and light infantry, that's kind of crap. I think we want some with a little bit more meat to it. Most likely that was our problem last time. We don't want the light infantry. I think we like the, uh, these guys. Still a lot of archers, but we got some pikemen. Okay, we come down here. Dear Marquis Lincoln of Grand Cayman, during your wife's recent visit to Quiche, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. I suggest a non-aggression pact between us for the near future, and we'll welcome any visitors from your realm with open arms. Okay, dude, where do you live? Yeah, okay, sure. By all means. We'll be friendly. Alright, so we drop off the mercs in the war goal. And then we re-raise our own levy. Which is still at, at mostly peak strength here. We rush them over as quick as we can. I think we can not stand down those boats. We'll go pick up the... Here, split this navy in half. We'll send 29 up to here. 22 over to here. We'll pick them up. We'll converge on this island and bring everyone else down. Now we are at war with this guy. Apparently he was rebelling or something. Ah, shoot, he got us. Okay, to the island. Not looking to engage us. We're at 55 war score. Continuing to control this thing. If we can get back our province there, that'd be a good start. Let's try to prevent them from combining these two armies. Keep them separated. You gotta keep them separated. That's a song, right? Go engage that 1,000 stack. 
Let's, uh... I guess we keep the boats raised for now. And our son lacks a focus. He's rowdy and conscientious. Rowdy does well with this, so by all means. Divide and conquer. For a war score, we'll take it. We'll hop over here. Supply should hopefully be okay. 17k is good, yep. If we can get this province back, we'll gain a fair bit of war score, like 7. They're gonna take that one. Pretty quickly. Someone keeps on stealing from us. This is kind of annoying. Now, from here, I feel like we gotta use these mercs, right? We might as well just go and attack them. Crusade for Ontario yet again. It will be there on the 26th. They're gonna be gone on the 27th. We actually don't want to fight the rest of that army if we don't have to. So let's let them leave. He's heading to Panama. Only if we go that way. We can't catch him. But we broke his siege. 15th, 17th. I mean, if I want to fight him, I can, but I've got to attack him into these, this bad province. 27th, 3rd. Still can't catch him. So close! Alright, well... Benner gets the defensive bonus. We've got nine and a half thousand versus that. I think we just gotta take this fight. They keep on outmaneuvering me here. Wait! Nope! Never mind! There, when I finally give up on it, now we're able to engage... 2,000 of the troops here before the main fight begins. Oh, and we're doing so much better! Thank you, Mercs. That takes us to 98 war score. And that puts us here... Just waiting on the ticking war score at this point. That will do it. Since this is mostly mercs, I think we'll just come down here and assault. End this war really quick. Actually, you know what? We're so close to the next tick. Let's just wait. Thank you for your province. So what are we going to do about being over the domain limit? Uh, let's see. So... Are we getting a penalty to our troops for being over the domain limit? Not yet. I believe you can go one over the domain limit without a troop penalty. If I remember correctly. There might still be an income penalty. If there's not, then we'll just stay over the domain limit and piss people off. We'll, we'll, I'm willing to go one over for a 10 opinion penalty. I'm not willing to lose any levy multiplier or income. What else can we do to raise up our domain limit? Laws can go up. We're probably not going to gain any more stewardship bonus. Right now, we are on low centralization. We could try to bump up centralization. Yeah, I think we do that. By all means. We don't have very many vassals right now, so who cares? Centralize our power. All right. Your nephew, Errol, is requesting approval to travel with the foreign merchants from across the sea. Uh, go with my blessing. Take some gifts. I figure if we keep on doing that, maybe eventually something good will happen. And as per normal, we need to go raiding again to <laughs> find some money, because we're poor. Fortunately, our levy is totally fine. We've got 56 boats available and 5,700 troops, so might as well get started. Unfortunately, four of the boats are down here.
The other thing, changing to that, that map mode really is quite laggy. Fairly soon, we'll need to start actually uh, doling out county level titles and building up our empire from there. For the moment, we're okay, but I expect that that's not going to last too much longer. We can only take centralization so, har so high with our current laws. Uh, we can't do this. We, okay, we do have the legalism requirement. Legalism needs to be at least level 3 for that one. And we're at level 2, so we can go one more tick here. We get one more domain limit. And if we can somehow manage to get legalism, yeah, we can actually, we could go up. So two more domain limit for now. I think I take this just so that I don't forget again in the future. And then max is level, level five. That's going to be a long time away. Unfortunately, just barely too many sh troops here. Let's find, if we can, the smallest army. This one looks pretty small. Split it in half. Where shall we raid? We haven't been over here in a few years. You know where else? We haven't been over here in a while, and he joined the war against me, so let's go pick on him. Cartagena. Blah. Bunch of jerks. Got 4,000 troops raised right there, but that's not going to stop us. For now, let's combine everything and make sure we're in charge. Seem to have lost some commanders. I feel like you always have to change commanders, like, non-stop. That's a large enough army, I think we're going to stick together. Almost two ticks, not quite. Okay, I'm not so sure I care about this. Well, okay, I I do care about actual, like, barracks being destroyed and stuff like that. Ooh. We'll take the... Economic, I think. No! What? Why are we infirm? We're only 46, Lincoln! You can't die so young, man! So we've unlocked the port two. Port 2, I believe that is a city holding. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. We're looking for Castle Shipyard. Shipbuilding level at least three. It's these that unlock it, okay. We definitely need more ships. I'd love siege speed. I want to work toward that, but we're running low on ships lately, so let's take the seed the, the upgrade there. And now if we can get some more money, we're gonna dive right into the castle shipyard. Our wife is still putting out, despite us being infirm. <laughs> uh, let's see, you lack a childhood focus. You're just a daughter, though. Train her in the ways of etiquette. Probably my other daughters don't have a focus either.
Ooh. We got a brawny boy. Delroy Glasspole. Being educated by us. I hope that he lives long enough to get a full education. Or rather, I live long enough. So he could be a good a good character for us. Three ticks. Good loot. We'll burn down this whole province. Bring the boats over here. I'm gonna just wreck this guy for a while. We could actually very quickly just stop off. Get that money, and then in Fort George, build the castle shipyard. Now, to get the castle shipyard unlocked over here, again, this is going to require shipbuilding level 3 in this province. So we would need to... We've only got a 7.8% yearly chance of increasing. And that's shipbuilding level 1.7. And we needed it at 3. <laughs> Good freaking luck. Like, I could send my, my military commander over there to try to train troops or uh, do whatever, but... Not train troops, sorry. Uh, I meant to say... Research military tech. There's a chance. I mean, we could we could try to do it. At the very least, we've got the bonus in our capital now. We better not be shattering two cards hand. I don't want to fight you. Good. Another daughter. What is with all these girls? We need more boys. You are supposed to be prov providing me with strong children. Strong boys. I'm disappointed. So, at our, at our peak, we had 27 Marshall. We're now down to 24. Sad times. You know, every character has to, uh, has to die someday. Maybe someday we'll have someone even better. But, Lincoln, you are a, a pretty strong character for us. You will be missed. You know Fredegar. Fredegar at Fredegar's peak had like 40, 40 or 42 marshals, something insanely high. It was pretty good. Good news is we're pretty darn prestigious. Prestigious. And uh, we've got the time to build some more buildings, I think. Can't build the castle walls because we need better improved keeps. I wonder what the AI spends their money on. They don't seem to upgrade buildings as much as I do. Like, the longer we play, the more, more pronounced the difference will be. I focus very heavily on, you know, raiding and getting money and then trying to build up technology and, and all that stuff. We're probably going to end up moving our capital and then spending more points to upgrade that province so that we can build new buildings there as well. Your steward was killed by a mob of peasants. Unfortunate. You are such a, a bad guy. But okay. Good luck. Alright. I'm going to take a short break here. Keep on building up buildings. But we are still going to need to do some more raiding. We've, we've got a lot of stuff that needs money. So let's hit up our, our usual suspects and go, go from there. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon. See you in a bit.